Hey, what's up everybody? How's it going? It's Burke, aka Dance Wait here. Welcome to this playthrough of Final Fantasy VIII. So, having completed Final Fantasy IX, it's time for me to go backwards another step and try out Final Fantasy VIII. So this is the one in the middle of that infamous block of 7 to 9, which so many people love and hold in such high regard. I had a wonderful time playing 9. It was the first time I played a PS1 Final Fantasy on the channel. I was a bit worried about having to do all the reading and the dialogue and all that stuff, but I had a blast playing it. It was a really good time. Final Fantasy VIII, I've heard, is very different, but I've it's never a game that I've really watched any footage of or read about the plot or anything like that. I literally know nothing about Final Fantasy VIII. So this is a good thing for me because there is never anything as good as that first time you experience a great story. So I'm really looking forward to playing Final Fantasy VIII. Just a few things to know before we get started. Um, as you can see, I am playing on Steam. Apparently this game does not have like a Steam remastered version like Final Fantasy IX does, which is a little bit of a shame. But I spoke to some people who work at Square Enix and they said to me that they they have no idea when a Final Fantasy VIII will ever be remastered on Steam. So I don't think we get the perks like the, the times 4 speed and all that kind of business or any enhanced visuals. So this is pretty much the original PS1 port as it was on the PS1. The only thing that I've done uh, is to have a mod for the music because I asked my followers if I should mod the game or if I should just play it in its original format and people said just play it in its original format but make sure you change the music because the Steam version has a terrible port for the music and it sounds horrible. So I've changed the music, that should no longer be a problem. I have heard a lot of great things over the years about Final Fantasy VIII. It has one of the most passionate fan bases of all of the Final Fantasy games. So I cannot wait to get stuck in and see what this classic has to offer. So we'll talk more once we get involved. Let's get started and see how it goes.
Whoa, that was an intense start. Pretty iconic track. It was all a dream. Or was it? <laughs> His face looks like it's been pinched in the middle. Dr. Kadawaki. I will just preface this by saying I apologize for all pronunciations because I've never watched anything to do with this game before. So I have no idea how to pronounce the names. I'm just going to like go with my best attempt. So just, uh, just putting that out there. Okay. How are you feeling? Okay, I guess my forehead hurts. Well, based on what we saw, I think his forehead should be hurting right about now. My forehead hurts. What a wuss. No kidding. Looks like your eyes are focusing. You should be fine. Say your name for me. Alright, I do know that he's called Squall. This is one of those things where, again, it's going to be like British versus American. I, I can't call him Squall. I've just got to call him Squall, man. It's just how us Brits do it. Why don't you take it easy in training? Next time you might not be so lucky. Oh, so it did happen, and that was just training? Damn. They're hardcore. Tell that to Cypher. That Cypher won't listen to anyone. Why don't you ignore him? I can't just run away. You want to be cool, huh? Well, don't get hurt in the process. Let's see. Your instructor is... Quistis. I'll call her now. Just wait here a minute. Quistis, come get your student. Yes, yes. His injury is not serious. It will probably leave a scar. Right. Now please come by. Squall, so we meet again. Oh, okay then. So Quiz is that hot teacher that everyone wants to bang in high school. I knew it'd either be you or Cypher. Come on, let's go. Today's the field exam. Alright, we're up and running. Squall, is there something on your mind? No. Nothing. Not really. <laughs> What's so funny? Funny? No, no, it's not that. I'm just happy. I feel like I'm beginning to understand my students a little. That's all. I'm more complex than you think. Squall got that edge. Then tell me. Tell me more about yourself. It's none of your business. Good morning, class. Let's start with today's schedule. There seem to have been some rumors flying around since yesterday. Yes, the field exam for seed candidates will begin later this afternoon. Those not participating and those who failed last week's written test are to remain here in study hall. Field exam participants will have free time until the exam. Just be sure you're in top condition. Meet in hall at 1600 hours. I'll announce the team assignments there. Any questions? Oh, and Cypher. Do not injure your partner while training. Be careful from now on.
field exam participants, I will see you all later. And Squall, I need to talk to you. Alright, let's have a chat with Quistus. So yeah, I'm just wondering why these guys are dressed differently. I mean, I think they're all cadets as part of the same academy or whatever, but these guys get some special privileges, I don't know. You haven't been to the fire cabin yet, have you? You won't be able to take part in today's seed exam if you don't pass this prerequisite. I was going to go this morning, but Cypher... Hmm? Do you have a good excuse? Not really. Then let's get going. If you're not too confident yet, you can review your studies at the study panel. I'll be waiting at the front gate, so come down when you're ready. You can access the study panel from your seat. Okay, so this is a bit different, isn't it? I mean, considering I played Final Fantasy IX before this one, Final Fantasy IX was much more kind of magical in setting, it was like fairy tale esque. This one is much more something that we're very much used to from the real world, like a school environment. So, already very different. I, I'm so jealous. Maybe I should take up that subject too. Should anything happen to instruct a trap, the treppies will get, will get you back. <laughs> She's already got her own fan base. Alone with instructor trap? <laughs> Dang it, he says. You're a lucky mofo, Squall. Alright, let's go. So the last time I was in the school environment in the Final Fantasy game was uh, was Type Zero, actually. So... I had no idea I was going to be starting somewhere like this. I'm late, I'm late, I'm late! Wah! Um, he seems like the kind of person that would just be silent. Let's be silent, let's be brooding. Let's be an arsehole. There. Sorry, I was kind of in a hurry. Oh yeah, did you just come from that class? Is homeroom over? Ooh, oh no. This place is so much bigger than my last garden. Garden? Oh, hey, hey. I just transferred here. Do you think you could give me a quick tour of this garden? I guess I might as well, because I need to see it as well. So, I'll stop being an arsehole. Show the girl around. Woohoo! Alright, let's go. We'll take the elevator to the first floor lobby, and I'll show you the directory. Alright, let's do that. I was waiting for like a Final Fantasy VII style, she was going to just disappear. She was going to like, move inside Squall and disappear, but it's not the case. Oh, hey, would you like to have these? My brother gave me these cards, but they're really not my thing. You can have them if you'd like. What? How do you play a card game? Hmm, I think it'd be best to look at the card game explanation in the tutorial. I don't know much about it, really. If you want to play cards with someone, talk to them by pressing B3. But keep in mind, not everyone is a card player. Fuck, I have no idea what B3 is. I'll have to make a note of these. Oh, and by the way, I don't play, so don't bother challenging me. Seven cards. I think in the comments for one of my like other Final Fantasy related videos, someone mentioned to me that cards are like a big deal in Final Fantasy VIII. Seeing as it's been introduced this early, I feel like it's going to be something quite important. But for now, because I want to actually get things going, I'll uh, I'll keep moving. I'm sure if they've introduced it this early, it will be it will become a mandatory thing to play at some point. So we'll learn it when the time comes. Okay. That's a directory. And there's a save sphere. Well, this is it. Balam Garden is pretty big. It's a good idea to check where you want to go and select it here. I have a question. How do you use this? Move the cursor and press B1 to select. Next, I'll give a quick explanation of the various facilities. Yes, sir. 
You'll find a dormitory in the north. The majority of students live in the dorms. I don't think I need to read these out. I think we all know what a dormitory is, and we know what a cafeteria is. It's always a big rush for the hot dogs, but they get used to waiting in line. Uh, east of the north block is a parking lot. Usually take the garden car when a mission comes up. The front gate is located to the south. That's right, I have to go meet Instructor Trep at the front gate. Hmm? What's the matter? Nothing. Next we have the quad. I don't actually, I don't actually know what the quad is. Located in the west block. There's an event being planned there. I know, I know, it's a garden festival. It's going to be great. I plan to be on the committee. Oh, she's one of these people. You want to help out too? Hell no. Let's just continue. Okay, infirmary. What's the doctor's name? Dr. Kadawaki. Now the east block. This is the training center. It's the only facility open at night. It's used for training and they have real monsters running loose here. Damn. If you don't take it seriously, you may end up dead. Just be careful. This place is a serious academy, man. South of the East Block is a library. There's a lot of material you can look up there, but the terminals and classroom are a lot more efficient. And you already know about the classroom on the second floor. Yep. By the way, the headmaster's office is located on the third floor. You need permission to get in. Another question. What's the headmaster's name? <laughs> I was just about to say Sid, just on a whim. And yes, it's headmaster Sid. So, Sid has been introduced early into this one. That's about it. Anything else? Got it. Hey, um, are you taking today's seed exam? Yeah. Then maybe I'll see you again, later. I've already finished my training at my previous garden. I'm taking the seed exam today too. Good luck to both of us, huh? Thanks a lot. Alright. Access the menu set save. I don't know why they don't have a save menu here. Did it take up space or some shit? It doesn't make sense. When I go here, I should just get a save pop-up. Shouldn't need to enter the menu for that, but... Whatevs. One thing I'm seeing already here is Junction. People... I remember people telling me about Junction and saying it might be a little bit of a confusing system to get used to, but... We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Should I do a lap around this place first, I wonder? See what it has to offer. Let's see a little bit of the garden first. I'm already really liking the music. The quality is so good, this mod really is the shiz. Oh yeah, back in the infirmary. That was quick. I don't think we need to speak again, do we? Oh, school, your exams today, right? How's that forehead doing? <laughs> okay, didn't need to enter this one. Squall looks pretty tall, which is interesting for uh, Usually the male protagonists aren't really that tall in Final Fantasy for some reason. I'm trying to think, people like Tidus are like average, I would say. He's shorter than Auron and Waka. Uh, excuse me, do you play an instrument? No, I do not. Come on, don't ignore me. Well, I wasn't. Hey, I know you. I ran into you by the classroom, right? Leave me alone. <laughs> Got girls chasing me left, right and centre, man. It's just like high school all over again. And they're glitching out as well. If you're interested, come by and check out the stage. It's my dream to form my own band. <laughs> she won't leave me alone. And, yeah, so is this the festival place? All members of the Garden Festival Committee have been dispatched to conflicts around the world. That transfer student seems to be really enthusiastic about it, but... It's a pretty big organisation. Can we climb ladders? Whoops. It should be triangle for menu. I might have to swap those bindings because... I'm not a fan of... Having that be the menu button. Are you interested in what I'm doing? For the sake of this walkthrough? Yes. Then you should join the guy. Okay, I'm not joining the committee, man. I thought she was going to explain something to me. She 
Is that ice skating around? What is this? Crazy girl. Let's keep going. Totally different vibe from Final Fantasy IX. Totally different. It's nice that that's the case, though. Oh! Cypher. Cypher, drink! Can I drink something? I'd like some water, you know. Ignore. Okay, so Cypher doesn't talk, so he must be the exchange student, I'm guessing. Raijin. Yo, it's Squall. Oh, yeah? Fujin's gonna treat you, you know? Want something? Rage! <laughs> ah! Oh! Ah! Can I speak to... Squall? Psst, psst. Fujin's kinda harsh at times, so you better watch it too, you know? What? Oh, oh, it's n nothing. Do you have any hot dogs left? You're a bit late, I'm afraid. We're all sold out. Damn, not again. It's hopeless if you don't get here early. Alright, I'll try again next time. He's got the cloud haircut. I'll try to order more, but there's no guarantee. Wow, dejected. <laughs> Everyone's slow rotation. <laughs> you know. Speeding. Let's go arrest that student for violation of academy regulations. What? Affirmative. Roger, you know. What the hell did he do? Speeding. That's ridiculous. Can I have a hot dog? I thought, I don't know, maybe Squall gets some special treatment or something. So at least, I mean, even for a PS1 game, they've at least put some people and stuff in here. It's lively enough. I can overhear some conversations. I choked last time. I was way too nervous. At least you made it to the field exam. I can't even pass my written test yet. I guess you're not as smart as I am. <laughs> yeah, right. You're in hall study today, too. Yeah, so am I. I guess, we're all, I guess we all just suck. We're just a sad bunch. Sad. Sad. Sad people like us, all we do is complain to Gabzeria. Okay, alright, I've had enough of your complaint. I'm getting out of here. So yeah, it seems like this isn't just some some setting for the start of the game. I think we're going to be spending a lot of time here. Really missing not having that times four. So one thing I will say... Oh. But that rent test sure was hard. Yeah, alright. Everyone's talking about the same thing. So, it goes without saying, I'll mention it anyway, I always do, it never works, but just to, just so that I've said it, I feel better having said it myself. Uh, this is obviously the first time I've ever played this game, I know nothing about it, it's totally new to me. Uh, I like to play things my own way. This first part here is always an exception, I find that that system works well for me. Uh, the, for the first part, if you guys have any general comments about uh, things that I should know as a first time player, so some tips and tricks that might help me. So nothing spoilery, but just tips and tricks, just general things to make note of while you play. Then feel free to, to help me with that. But if you fancy yourself as a bit of a backseat gamer, you're going to find yourself disappointed because I don't read comments beyond the first part. All you're going to do is just make yourself angry for no reason. If you're the kind of person that gets angry at people who are not very good at games while they're trying to learn them, then this probably isn't the playlist for you. 
I've said my piece, just make sure that you're you're aware of that. So if you do have advice, if there's stuff that I'm doing terribly wrong, I'm making like these crazy mistakes that I shouldn't be doing and that no player should be doing, feel free to let people know. Just like if anyone else wants to play this game, you can tell them that I'm doing a certain thing wrong or that doing something a certain way is better, etc. But it's not really going to change the way that I'm playing because I'm not going to be paying attention to that. Because then it wouldn't really be my walkthrough, would it? It'd kind of be your walkthrough be like a amalgamation of everyone's comments and that's no fun so it's just gonna be me doing the best I can with my first time with this game ah I thought I was about to die so that's the infamous monster oh this is that arena yeah I'm not gonna head in and fight no monsters yet I don't even know how to fight I haven't been in a single battle So that's the, the, the backseat game of Spiel over. A rule of thumb with, uh, if you feel like, if you're wondering whether you're being a backseat gamer or not, if your comment contains the phrase, you should, then it's likely that it's a backseat gamer comment. That's the best rule of thumb to go by. Just relax and enjoy. The desks are squeaky, aren't squeaky clean. Those three from the library committee, I bet they're slacking off somewhere. So, okay, I think I feel like kicking off the story now. Library girl with a pigtail. The following acts are prohibited in the library. Talking loudly, eating and drinking, running around. And also, avoid late returns, no fighting over seats. I have to go over the library rules with the children. Next period. I'm very nervous. I hope they understand. Alright, I think it's about time for me to meet with Quistis and head to this fire cavern and maybe perhaps find out how to actually play this game. That's a sorry ass receptionist. <laughs> I'm kind of hungry, want to grab something to eat. Not a conversation I particularly care about. This guy looks a bit dodgy. Perhaps I should go visit. I should go home this weekend. I really should go visit my parents. He's got a solid snake bandana. What are you doing? You know what? I really like this garden. Even, even though there are instructors who suck. What's this blossomy looking stuff here? Found a draw point. No one can draw. Okay, that's going to have some meaning later, I assume. Okay, there's my girl. What up? Squall, you're forgetting something. Your girlfriend. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. What the hell is a GF? What does that stand for? I guess it's a summon. I think... Quasar Kotal is a summon in this game, so I guess GF stands for summons. I had whole other ideas. I have a few things to explain before we head off. GF gives us strength. The stronger the GF, the stronger we be. Is this some kind of like inside joke or something? So, here's a brief explanation on junctioning a GF. Oh boy, here it comes. <sighs> Junction tutorial. I don't think this is quite as intuitive as something like the Sphere Grid, so it's going to take me a little while to understand it. Junction enables characters to power up and use abilities. This means... I'm not liking the flow of the text here, they should just keep it longer. A GF must be junctioned in order to power up and use abilities. Let's begin by junctioning a GF. Right now, no GF is junctioned. All other commands in grey cannot be selected yet. Once junction is selected, GF and magic commands appear. Since no GF is junctioned, magic is displayed in grey. Let's junction a GF. By selecting GF, a GF list appears. Press B3 to see abilities possessed by a GF. The abilities are HP junction, vitality junction, etc. 
Okay. Let's choose GF. When GF Quasicotal is selected, its abilities, HP J and Vite J, make the stats HP and Vitality appear in white. Magic can now be junctioned to HP and Vitality. Right, okay. But since there's currently no magic, we will move on to setting abilities. There are three command abilities and two passive abilities, okay. So it just it seems like you're like intrinsically linked to your summons in this game, which is kind of interesting. I don't think I've experienced that before. It was a little, I mean, it was kind of the case in Final Fantasy VII, but this is like a whole other level of it. Bottom window is for character, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's set the command ability draw to get some magic. When an empty slot is chosen... Okay, so this is that draw thing. So we can. So that was magic that we could draw out. It was like a magic fountain. This is our command ability. Blah, blah blah. Let's add GF an item to the list. So GF is obviously using my summon in battle, and that's item. So I can't use magic based on this set. Let's set a non-command ability. Yep, 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 yep. This concludes the tutorial. Thank you and good luck. Well, like, it seems okay so far. You can always check back, yeah. Once we get to the fire cabin, I'll explain how to junction magic. Use the command draw during battle and stock your magic from your enemies. Be sure to have some stocked. Okay. Ready to go? The fire cabin used for the test is located east of here. Uh, well, let's scroll down to GF. We've got two of them. Well, they could learn abilities as well. So this isn't, like, totally alien to me, the idea of teaching summons abilities. Let's head to Junction. Start with Quistis. So I guess we can give them one each. So this one is magic, this one is spirit, I guess. Well, let's give her magic. I'm not liking the triangles to go back, that just, that just feels weird to me. Cast magic. Summons guardian force. Draws magic. And I have no, I think these are too lo low level at the moment. Well, this kind of makes sense so far. He says we're probably doing everything wrong. Okay. I think I've done the right thing here. Let me see if there's anything interesting in the config that I need to be aware of. It's a very basic config. Field message files, battle message, blah, blah, blah. Scan once, always. Set close up for scan. Once, I think. ATB wait, especially for newbies like me. Ah. Okay, I've adjusted the, the settings a little bit to make sure everything's all good. You forgot something. Yeah, I want to go back to that thing and see if I can draw. Found draw point, cure found. Who will draw? Score will draw. Stop seven cures. Okay. We'll find out how that all works a little bit later. Should we go, dear? Ah. The world map. Cool. Set east of here, right? Yeah, there it is. 
Ah, I like this view better. That was a long trip. Okay, junctioning magic. Now pay attention. I'll be explaining how to utilize the magic you have stopped. Yes, that's what I need to know now. By junctioning magic, you can raise the character stats. Oh. So use magic to raise that. That's weird. If the GF has learned the ability to junction onto stats, that particular stat will be displayed in white. By selecting junction here, the GF and magic commands will appear. You're able to junction magic by selecting magic. Okay, when magic is selected, a list of magic appears. Use the cursor to select which stat to junction. It has to either be that or that. Choose the magic with the cursor. You can see how the stat value changes with each magic. Okay. When a magic is selected, the magic will be displayed next to the stat and the value will change. Does that mean I can't use that, that five for anything else? Only one magic can be assigned to each stat to each stat. Hmm. So what happens when I collect like my 11th one? Does that just increase my strength even more? Does that fire become unusable as a spell? Let's we'll see. There is no need to junction magic manually one by one. Select auto after junctioning. I think this, this is probably good for someone like me. Auto junctions magic automatically. There are three commands to choose from. Attack favors strength. No shit, Sherlock. Madge favors magic, and death favors raising HP. Okay. Thus, magic can be junctioned easily by using auto. For example, let's select the attack junction. Magic has been junctioned to favor strength. This includes magic junction tutorial. When you draw a new magic, try experimenting with it when you junction. This is how you become stronger. Okay, ready to go? Oh! You know how to use your gun blade. Better go over it. First day screen, yada yada yada. Oh wow. I've got individual elemental defenses and stage defense like this. Okay. Cool. Third defense, GFs. Full state screen shows limit break information. Okay. Squall's gunplay settings can be changed in limit break screen. There are two settings, Gunblade Auto and Renzo Kugan Indicator. Renzo Kugan hits automatically without having to press B5. Which one's B5? I don't remember. However, a perfect may not be possible with this option. You must select off. Ah, okay. Press B5 manually at the right time. Okay, so I programmed it so that Renzo thing is R1, so hopefully that will work. These guys look really like, mysterious and weird. You have to get really close to speak to them in this game. Objective to obtain a low level GF, a seed member must support. Are you ready? Yep. Squall, I'm ready. I'm his support. Instructor number 14, Quistus Trap. Choose one suited to your abilities. Oh shit, select a time limit. Challenging yet reasonable. Yeah, whatever the maximum is. <laughs> 10, 20, 30, 40. I'll take 30 just so I don't... Like, it's not too embarrassing. Very well, good luck. How do they see anything like that? It's constantly looking on the ground. My job is to support you in battle. Everything else is up to you. Fine. Alright, let's get some ass. You know, the boys often choke on this test when I come with them. I guess my charm makes them nervous. <laughs> Whatever. I'm just kidding. I'm trying to keep you relaxed, that's all. One thing I will check, I've got this... this cure now. What am I supposed to do with that? Can I use Cure? Let's just go into a battle and see what happens. I think the timer still runs even when I'm in the battle menu, so that's not good. 
There we go. First battle. Let's hear that battle theme. Oh, she's got a whip. Of course she's got a whip. Um, magic. So even though I've got that cure, I can't see myself being able to use it yet. Let me try drawing. Stop. Four thunders. That sounds good. Seven scans. Okay, well, they only survive one hit each. Which is kind of standard. I like this though, this sounds funky. Boy, this is awesome. Yeah. Getting funky with it. Nothing. I wonder what the chests look like in this game. Fire. Chris has stocked eight fires. Good on her. Now, I've got to find out how to use... I've got these. I've got Cure as well, but I don't know how I can use it yet. Oh, he's got that. I think we should probably... Sw but then again, I'm thinking whether we should swap these or not. Let me check the Magic Junction business. What happens when I auto? Let's gear hers towards magic. Okay. Whatever. So, does the magic have to be junction for it to be usable in battle? Let me see here. So, she's got fire now. She's got magic available. He does not. Okay. Oh, got bombs. Quistis, bomb, an elemental monster. Use a nice attack for those. Yeah. Okay, that's great and all, but... Magic. She's got thunder and fire. Okay, cool. Draw from there. So she can only draw fire. Why don't we use Shiva against everything here? See our summon in action straight away. I don't get the idea of casting if I can already cast it. Maybe it's a way to cast magic even if you don't have the commands, I guess. Oh, oh yeah. There's Shiva being that ice goddess. Doing a thing. Bombs card. Bats card. 4 AP. Shiva level up. Well, that was quite lucrative, wasn't it? Okay. Well, doing well so far. Only thing I didn't understand was... Wait. Junction. Magic. So these don't seem to affect my stat. So. Oh. Okay, well, I get a plus one for it, fair enough. Now that makes sense. And. Okay. Cool.
I mean, he's talking about ice, but we haven't been able to draw any ice yet. Maybe from this guy. Give me some ice. Is this a luck thing, I wonder? Like, is there a bunch of things? Five blizzards. That's good. Let's draw some more blizzards from this guy. The blizzard hasn't appeared here yet, for some reason. Seven more blizzards. So if I do this and I cast, how, how does that work? Let's see that in action. Cast blizzard. So it's like if it has it in them, I get to use it or something? It's dead. I've almost used up 10 minutes, so I've got to keep moving. Thunder still seems to work the best. I'll take those blizzards. Actually, let's split. Yeah, so now I think she can use blizzard. I guess I was right. You and Cypher are in a class of your own. You both have amazing strength and potential. Okay, we've still got 20 minutes left. That's not bad. Uh, restores HP by 200. I've only lost 5 HP. That's pretty good. Alright, let's just get in and see what happens. Okay, this is it. Are you ready? You seem confident enough. Come on, Ifrit. I think it's a little bit of a, a little bit unfair on Ifrit that he has to deal with kids because he's not very powerful, and he skipped leg day as well, which never helps. So I can only draw one of these three. That's a bit weird. I don't know how I can change that so it's something else. Let's scan it. Oh yeah, I forgot to use scan. I need to use magic, so I can't scan it. Though 72 is not very impressive. Let's see both summon attacks here. So I guess their HP is relevant for the period in which we wait to summon them. I think their HP goes down when I get hit here. Yeah, okay. Now I get it. Because you don't select any of their moves, they just come in, do their big move and go. But I guess the deal is making sure they survive until then. So this is a new summon, it's a summon I've never played with before. Nice looking move, but the element is not the right one. This should do better. This battle thing is pretty good as well. Hundred eighty four, that's not bad. So that means they have Shiva? So I guess, does this mean I can just repeatedly summon these guys until my, until my, until their HP runs out? I guess I might as well just keep using my biggest move then. Why would I do anything else? Computing humans! Oh. She doesn't have cure. Ah, okay, I can use it like this. I don't think there's an option to shorten the animations, but I need the damage. It's, it's doing 
over two and a half times the damage that Blizzard as a spell is doing, so... But I feel like this is something you could just... It seems like you can really spam your summons in this game. Not bad. Hmm, not bad for a human. Alright, let's attack it normally for a little bit. Uh, draw. Find your scan. Okay, that's not bad. Let's cast scan this time. Alright, it's like a proper little interface. It's got 5 HP left, not bad. Uh, use fire magic. It's a strong opponent, but da da da. So I've got to know what these signs are. I don't think they're that super intuitive. Like that one there is probably ice, but it's not always, it's not the clearest one I've ever seen. They're not even coloured. They're monochrome, so it might not be easy. I've only got five blizzards left though. I wonder when we, when we get to use our limit break. I can't really see a limit gauge or anything like that. Maybe it's too early for that at the moment. I can't really do that much damage to it at the moment. Quistis is doubling up Squall with her Blizzard spell, thank god for that. Otherwise I would have had to spam the, spam the summon to get the damage. Run out Blizzards. Surely we must be close. For me to lose to a human, very well, I will join you. Cool. So I think there's another one of those games where you have to beat summons to get them to, to join us. G Returner. Ifrit's card, 20 AP. Nice. Always like having Ifrit on the team. There isn't much time, but let me go over this real quick. Good, you got yourself a GF. If you junction that GF, you'll be able to use the LMJ ability. Here's an explanation on elements. Junction can change basic parameters such as strength and magic, as well as elemental parameters. By junctioning a GF with elemental junction ability, as magic is junctioned. The ELA slash D slot above HP turns white, indicating an elemental junction. Very well. The elemental junction screen appears. Right, okay. Yeah, so I don't know why these are monochrome to be honest. Why can't you just make the fire one red? I don't get it. Elemental junction works like other junctions. First, select a stat junction. Yeah, okay, I get it. However, non-elemental magic like cure cannot be junctioned. Elemental junction affects attack and defense differently. Yep, I understand, I get it. The green star is displayed when the value goes over 100, indicating damage is absorbed. 
In this state, you can absorb the amount of damage. Oh, okay, right. So it's not just you just absorb it. You absorb a percentage. Right. Multiple magic dice can be junction to elemental defense depending on the GF's ability. Junction multiple magic types with the same elemental for a cumulative effect. Okay, that's nice. Try a junction with different magic to check the effect. You can also select auto. Yeah. This concludes the tutorial. Thank you very much. There's a lot of fire elemental monsters here, so junction blizzard to your elemental attack. You'll have an easy time with fire elemental enemies. I've only got one blizzard left, to be honest. Junction. Uh, yeah, we've got to allocate Ifrit first. Right, now I can increase my strength. So it seems like none of my magic helps here. So none of these increase my strength at all. So it's kind of pointless from what I can understand. Okay, so I now have a 2% increase in my elemental attack damage. Which is something, I guess. And I can always stock up on some more. So it's like, it's almost like stealing in Final Fantasy X. You just have to, every battle, you kind of need to draw. one blizzard left. What happens when I use this blizzard? The squall lose his elemental attack. Whoa. That's something we've got to check. Junction. No, I still got it. So yeah, those four blizzards, I guess they get stuck doing that job. I, you, you can't use it for anything else, if I've understood that correctly. So Quistus can't really junction anything at the moment. Because none of these are available to her. She doesn't have... Anything that can increase her. Yeah. I basically gotta give her all of these because unless I'm using it for junctioning, I, he doesn't need these. And I don't think we have the option of curing everybody. It's not like a singular or multiple option. Okay, so we're starting to get a little bit of insight into how things work here. I just played the first part of Final Fantasy XIII too. They're so, so different. And I don't mean in terms of obviously one is one was made like 15 years after the other one. I mean in terms of just how... Like, that one is a very, very cinematic and very story-heavy, bombastic intro. But this one is very much um, world-heavy, I would say. I mean, there's very little story going on right now. We, we have no idea, like, what the deal is. We just had that one scene at the start with the girl in the field saying, like, come find me, I'll be waiting for you. Aside from that, we have no idea what the hell's going on. Is anyone in danger? Is the world in danger? Don't know anything. So this one has much more of a, a build-up. But I guess 13.2 is a sequel, so there's already it has to start off much more... 
it has to start off with a lot more action because it doesn't need to build a world like Final Fantasy VIII does or introduce its story in the same way. Chance for first strike. I like it. Ah, didn't get any more blizzards. Damn it. Get that 2% in there. Yeah. I mean, it seems like there's value in, in using draw at least once or twice in every battle. Look at that, eight fires. I don't know what the limit is for, for drawing, to be honest. I would assume the odds of getting a successful draw go down every time you use it, but... Still not dead. Okay. Alright, mate. There you go. Still not dead. Okay. Haven't seen a limit break opportunity yet. Alright, we are almost out of here. Oh, these guys are gone. Ah, first outside world battle. And we've got a wasp type. Squall, you still remember? The B6 is a trigger. Pull it as you strike. Same for Renzo Gukin. I don't even know what this is, but... I really don't know. Draw. Seems easy enough so far. But let's head back here for now. We've had a lot of gameplay, a lot of tutorial. I'm going to try and move things forward if I can, story-wise. Well done. Let's see. I thought there was something else I need to go over with you before you take the seed exam. Oh yes, taking care of your G... <laughs> This is something you have to watch out for. Oh, yes. Got to take care of them GFs, man. A GF will level up as it gains experience. Learn new abilities by gaining AP points. So they're basically just as important as, as your characters gameplay-wise. AP gains during battle. Can be distributed to... Yeah, okay. Right, teaching summons abilities is something I'm not unfamiliar with. But obviously these abilities then reflect back into how we use them in the junction system. So it's they're kind of much more closely tied. Yeah. By selecting learn, Shiva's ability list is displayed. Elemental attack, junction. Right, okay. Abilities in white, such as Strength J, are abilities already learned. One of the in grey, not being learned yet, okay. I get it. I don't know what summon magic plus 10% would be. Does that mean like your, your magic goes up by 10% every time you summon it and it stacks or something? Or the power of your summon's attack goes up by 10%? I don't know. Let's see. 
Yeah, yeah, okay. Therefore, it's recommended to return to the screen to see the next bit. Alright, cool. Now change into a uniform and assemble at the first floor lobby. Yes, miss. Uh, we've already drawn everything there is to draw from that. I think I will save and end. This should be around the one hour mark, maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, but it should be enough to give you guys a taster of Five Fantasy Eight. Story-wise, we couldn't really get much done, but obviously, I had a lot of tutorial and a lot of learning and a lot of exploring to do of this, uh, of this, of this setting that we find ourselves in. So. It seems interesting enough. I mean, it's it's got some of the, the hallmarks of some great Final Fantasy, so although I can't really comment on the story, everything else seems like it's uh, it's looking good so far. This junction system hopefully will make more sense as we play. Uh, the GFs and, and all that business, teaching and abilities, etc. We've got a lot of things to learn and a lot of things to see. So that's it, guys. That is the first uh, section of Final Fantasy VIII. I hope you guys are enjoying this. If you want to see more, just... Uh, just interact, hit that like button, and let me know. I'm going to put this against Final Fantasy 13 too, and whichever one gets more attention in uh, the next couple of weeks or so, that is the one that I will continue with first. That doesn't mean that if Final Fantasy 13 2 uh, wins, I'm not going to play this game. It just means that I'll start it in a few months and not right now. So, one way or another, this game is going to get played. We're going to get to the end of this classic Final Fantasy, hopefully. So, I will see you guys whenever I resume. Thanks for watching. And remember, finally, if there's any general advice that you have for me for this playthrough, stuff that I should know as a first-timer, stuff that will help me with the junctioning system, the gameplay, anything that you think might be beneficial without spoiling anything for me, please do let me know. So, I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Take care.